All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah and salutations and blessings to you, Akim, out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth. Um, real quick lesson, man. Just, you know, the turning of events. Okay. Um, just, just everything going on, you know. How the Most High, of course, is manifesting his pro his his uh his power, you know, by by the prophecies. All right, and one of the prophecies, of course, well, many prophecies, but um, just going into what had to come to pass, you know, we were gonna lose our heritage, but also in a place where we said unto them, "Ye are not my people," in the same place. We shall be known as the sons of the living God, right? The living God being Yahweh, and us being his sons, his princes, or Yasha Allah, prince of the power, all right? And uh, reading in here in, in, in Zechariah 8, you know, it kind of, the word foundation stuck out to me real heavy for some reason, so I just was, it's a, it's a process, you know? It's a process that, that of course, that we're going through. And it's a process to show the world how it's done. All right. The Most High is going to basically take out multiple stones, you know, I mean, multiple uh, birds with one stone, so to speak. OK. In the sense of him giving us our heritage back and and bringing up, it's like everything <laughs> uh, taking down Esau, bringing us up. Um. Uh, bringing judgment upon the earth, establishing righteousness upon the earth, you know, by just the vibe, you know, just the vibrations that's out there. Because now wickedness is at a, at all time high, you know, but the truth is here and the truth is overtaking the wickedness because they can't hide it through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, so uh, let me go ahead and get into the scripture. This is Zechariah 8 and 9. It says, Thus said the Most High, Yahweh of hosts, let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Most High of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. And as we know, there's a spiritual temple being built at this moment. By way of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and that's him establishing that righteousness, us coming back to our, our um, nationality, you know, us coming back to our nationality. It's, it's establishing that righteousness upon this earth um, because you have a group of people who's trying to do the right thing. OK, you have people who are given diligence to make the calling of the election. Sure, because we know that the elect are, are spotless. They're blameless. OK, they have no guile. They're going to receive salvation, man. Now, it's not going to be an easy task. All right. It's not going to be an easy task. That's the purpose of them being tested and proved by the fiery trials to become that fine gold, to get rid of all the impurities, man. OK, and Lord willing, we are of that number, but that foundation of righteousness is being laid before their eyes as well as our eyes. And, and Lord willing, we're a part of it, you know, because um, once the elect is received, OK, once the, re the elect receives salvation, they're going to go away for a period of time and, and, you know, get new bodies. OK, Um knowledge wisdom and understanding on all different types of levels on a maximum level so to speak all right on a maximum level and then you know that's new jerusalem coming down spoken of in uh revelations the 21st chapter if i'm not mistaken you know coming down to what establish order amongst the earth okay order amongst the earth all right <clears throat> So that spiritual temple is being built at this moment. <clears throat> it says, for before these days, there was no hire for man, nor any hire for beast. Neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the affliction. For I set all men, every one against his neighbor 
And what did the scripture say? Judah shall not vex Israel anymore. That's the northern and uh, southern kingdom coming back together, man. That's part of that foundation. All right. Because when you when you think about a temple now, I don't know every, you know, part for the most part, you know, but one person's a pillar. This person is, is, is this part. This person is that part and that part. To the point where everybody is a part of that temple and keeping that temple stable as well as the body. Everybody plays their part. Okay. But if everybody's fight, hey, the scriptures say a house that the, the, is divided against itself shall not stand, man. Okay. So if, if everything is divided against itself as we were northern and southern kingdom. All right. We was divided and we was conquered even. Okay, but the Lord said what? He said all men, everyone against his neighbor. But now I will not be unto but now I will not be unto the residue of this people as in the former days, said the most high Yahweh of hosts. For the sea shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things, man. And that is the time that we're living in. We're living in the time of of the Lord um, bringing us up, you know, and allowing the remnant of his people to possess all things. That cluster, that blessing that was in the cluster of grapes. All right. Um, what is that? Second Ezra, the second chapter about, you know, basically turning into a, a new people, a different nation and all of that. It was the same nation. It was just an elect within that nation. All right. It says, and it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen, right? O house of Judah and O house of Israel, so will I save you and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong because we have hope. All right. And by hope, we have faith. And by faith, we are saved. All right. It says, for thus said the most high of hosts. As I thought to punish you when your father provoked me to wrath, said the Most High of hosts, and I repented not. So again have I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Fear ye not. And that's why this truth is coming out on a level that is coming out. And they can't hide it. They can't stop it. They used to try to delete pages. They giving brothers strikes. They deleting certain videos and flagging videos and restricting and suspending uh, um uh, certain pages and brothers go up live. They don't even go out to the ones who subscribe to them. It's so many things, you know, brothers have been arrested. Brothers have been approached by agents. Brothers have been uh, uh, antagonized. All right. All of these things. But this is by way of your how about Shemiah was shy as it tells you in, um, in Acts, man, if this was a man, it would come to naught. All right. <laughs> but you have groups of men by the spirit and power and grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Shai, this is all we know. You know what I'm saying? This is this is all we know. We was we was washed, man. Okay, we buried that old man, and this is all we know. So this is all we have to fight for. Here. All right, this is the only thing that makes sense. What else makes sense in this place? This is the land of confusion. This whole society is confusion, man. What else makes sense in this place besides this truth, besides this word, besides Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai promises and his covenants? Okay, and the whole Romans chapter nine pretty much breaks everything down, man. He we was given the promises and the covenants. We was blessed before uh, uh, any any other children did anything wrong. All right, the vessels of honor and dishonor that the purpose of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that his will may be put forth for the election, man. All right, roughly paraphrasing that. I said, these are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false oath. For all these things that I hate, said the uh, Salakia. For all these are things that I hate, said the Most High Yahweh. And that's what that's what kills our people is the fact of uh, order. That's order, basically. You know, 
that's order. People have a problem with, with judgment. Oh, you can't judge me. Then they, they have that envy within their heart and their covetousness. You know what I'm saying? You know, they want to covet after everything you uh, she has or he has or, or they have. And it's just a constant battle of tearing each other down, man. All right. But the Lord had that remnant. He said the remnant will receive. Uh, uh, let me go back up. All these remnant will receive. Where did it go? Con, I'm going to read uh, 12 again. It says, for the sea shall be prosperous. The vine shall give her fruit and the ground shall give her increase and the heaven shall give their due. All right. And I will cause the remnant of his people to possess all these things. And that's basically being taken care of, you know, being taken care of, having security. All right. Being secure, not not having to worry. OK, like we're in the, uh, the valley in the shadow of death, man. I mean, death is all around you. You can go outside, get ran over, get hit by a stray bullet, a fucking plane, <laughs> a fucking plane can follow your head. Anything can happen in this place, man. All right. Anything can happen. But if you have your Haobah Shemiah Shai on your side, he will take care of you, man. OK, you will be part of that remnant and you will possess those things and, and be the first fruit of the kingdom that's coming. Okay. Hey, Lord willing, we endure with that call law, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to the one who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. Okay. Yahweh been the, the name of the Father, and Yahweh Shai been the name of the Son, the only begotten Son. Okay. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right, also known as GMS, who have been very, very diligent in this word, man. OK, being very consistent in this word. All right. By Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. OK. And salutations to blessings to the elect and salutations to you. I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth, as well as you women and children that follow. Shalom.